is Jimmy. Welcome. Welcome to my little corner of the world here. I'd like to spend a little time with you, uh, sing a song or two, and hopefully help you on your way. But first, I'd like to pray. Father, we sure thank you for your grace and your mercy and for your love and your care and for taking care of us. And I pray for whoever's watching this right now and for blessing them and helping them on their way and helping them to set their hearts free so they can have joy and peace in believing. And I pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So as you can see, I got a guitar here, so I'm going to sing a song. Okay? Okay. Four cups of coffee, half a pack of luckies by ten. I'm well underway. Days I get tired. I'm not 24. Things that came so easy don't come so easy no more. And when the strength of you is gone and no more, the wisdom and the power of the Lord will. And though my body is broke, the new man's a new day by day. And I can still serve, yes, I can still serve, because I believe in God. Selfishness gone wild Can't wait till the end But while I'm here There's work to be done I'll push till that day When the working is done And when the strength of youth Gone and no more. The wisdom and the power of the Lord will endure. And though my body is broke, the new man's a new day by day. And I can still serve. Yes, I can still serve. Cause I believe in God. Riches that await nothing in this world can compare. And God will keep me going until we meet in the air. And the pressure sure does come, but I can still take the hit with God on my side. I never have to. When the strength of youth is gone and no more, the wisdom and the power of the Lord will endure. And though my body is broke, the new man's a new day by day. And I can still serve, yes, I can still serve, because I believe. Yes, I believe, yes, I believe, yes, I believe, yes, I believe in God. Yeah, what a privilege, what a privilege it is to be able to believe God. In fact, I'm still blown away that there's a God at all. After decades of believing God's word, it still is amazing that there is a God at all and that 
we have the privilege to know that he exists. Well, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Believing pleases God. What does God want us to believe? Well, here's something that you might have heard before. Romans 10, 9, and 10 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Shall not be ashamed. A little later it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, not be ashamed. Ashamed, I got this definition off the internet, so it must be true. Embarrassed or guilty because of one's actions, characteristics, or associations. Or reluctant to do something through fear of embarrassment or humiliation. We never have to be afraid of God not doing what he says he will do. God is not a man that he should lie. Here's another good one. 3 John 2 through 4. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came to testify of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Believing pleases God. By revelation, what was written here is that God had no greater joy than to hear that his children walk in truth. And what does God want us to believe? That thou mayest prosper and be in health. God wants us to believe him which pleases him, so that he can help us to prosper and be in help. Does it get any better? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, well, why? Why? Why does God want to help us at all? Well, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 and 2 say, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Wow. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. God loves us because we're his children. God loves us because we are, God loves us because we are his children. And he's committed to us. That's why the heaven is here. That's why the, the earth is here, so that God can raise children. That is why we're here, because he loves us. Let me sing a song, shall we? <laughs> God, He loves you, so you never ever have to fear. He'll stop the world for you, or cast the mountains into the sea. And He's got His arms of love around you, and He'll keep your heart. Say from home, cause God, He loves you, yes He loves you, yes He does. And 
God. He loves you, and He can heal your broken heart. Just put your little hands in His and let Him lead you to a new start. God is rich in grace and mercy and faithful and just to forgive so you can leave the past behind and move ahead on for the word of life cause God he loves you yes he loves you yes he does God loves all of us and he's given us a eternal life and at this moment this very moment we know that we're his daughters and his sons and that day yeah that day is coming when we'll meet our Lord and Savior in the sky And we'll be off to our new home Where the Bible will love us for the, the rest of time Cause God, He loves us Yes, God, He loves you Yes, God loves you. Yes, he loves you. Yes, he God certainly does love us, without a doubt, and it's just wonderful. Well, let me see what we got next here on the agenda. And we are his family. God loves us. He's our family. And as a family, what's the next major event for mankind? There's a big question. Everybody wants to know where we're going. Nobody knows where they're going. Well, God does. God does. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18, King James Version, it says, But I would not have you to be ignorant. God does not want us to be ignorant. Brethren, concerning them which are asleep, or dead, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Death is a sting and it's very sorrowful but we can have a little bit of comfort, some hope. Verse 14 says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent or precede them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's mankind's hope. When Jesus Christ comes back, he's going to take his brothers and sisters. Those who are dead in Christ are going to rise up and we're going to meet him in the air. 
and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Man, that's a good deal. You know, in 1 John, we read it before. Let me find that. I'm a little piece of piper here. Yeah, 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Well, God sure loves us, and he's provided for us such a wonderful, tremendous hope that we can, that we can look forward to, to help to put the world in perspective while we're here. So, let me sing a song. Me and my father, we walk hand in hand. He guides me right through this troubled land. And I know that he loves me. He tells me so. He lifts my heart when I'm feeling low. And he shows me forever how it's going to be. Him and my brothers through all eternity. So why? Keep this hope before my face Waiting for the day that we're out of this place This place And I know he's coming back <laughs> So how should we just start over? Yeah, should we okay. start over here? Okay, well, I haven't screwed that song up in a long time <laughs> But today... Me and my father, we walk hand in hand He guides me right through this troubled land And I know that he loves me, he tells me so He lifts my heart when I'm feeling low And he shows me forever how it's gonna be Him and my brothers through all eternity So why? Keep this hope before my face Waiting for the day that we're out of this place This place And I know he's coming back for me So I speak the words so that others they may see How he was raised so that we could be free and Live with Him through all eternity Sometimes life can get heavy, man It's hard to get by Nothing seems alright and you ask yourself why Well, get your mind off yourself, yeah And under God's Word He's a risen tell it to the world To the world And I know he's coming back for me So I speak the word so that others they may see How he was raised so that we could be free And live with him through all eternity Moments in the twinkling of an eye At the last trump for the trumpet shall sound And the dead shall be raised incorruptible And we shall be changed Shall be changed And I know he's coming back for me So I speak the word so that others they may see he was raised so that we could be free and 
live with him through all eternity and I know yes I know yes I know yes I know and I know he's coming back for me so I speak the word so that others they may see how he was raised so that we could be free and live with him through all eternity Yeah, it sure is great to know that we have a hope and that God loves us and we are his children and he wants to take care of us. Well, I hope I was able to bless you on your way, help you a little bit, even if it is just a little. Remember, he's coming back and God loves you. So keep loving, keep believing. You're the best. Have a great day. Thank you.